Diesel power is the workhorse of the global economy. Commercial trucks, freight locomotives, and container ships move a vast variety of goods from around the world to local store shelves. Feeding the world is made possible by more powerful and efficient farm tractors and machines, almost all diesel powered. A global economy demands an efficient infrastructure. The building of roads and bridges, seaports and airports relies on heavy construction equipment, most all powered by diesel engines. And today, a new generation of diesel power has emerged, ready to meet the needs of a sustainable future. Our tier four is rolling out now in multiple uh, machine applications, hydraulic excavators, track type tractors, paving equipment, um, you know, there's uh, articulated trucks, uh, and these engines are, of course, the engines that power those vehicles. Uh, in addition, we sell these engines as industrial engines and as uh, electric power engines in uh, stationary power generation. A technological revolution has taken place, transforming diesel engines used in off-road applications like construction, farming, and mining equipment. A decade of research and innovation has resulted in clean diesel technology that virtually eliminates emissions, improving air quality around the world. These technologies are already at work today. We were expending about a million dollars a day in R&D, and most of that at the time was dedicated to Tier 4. So it's been a significant development for Caterpillar. Let's take a look at a story of innovation and technology that has transformed construction machines and agricultural equipment while meeting the stringent clean air rules established by the U.S. Environmental Protection Agency. These fourth generation rules challenged engine and equipment makers to develop engines that deliver near zero levels of emissions. Today, manufacturers have met that challenge and as a result, the air leaving the exhaust can actually be cleaner than the air coming into the engine. Both public and private projects are interested in using greener materials and methods and reducing the emissions footprint of their projects. The new generation of Tier 4 clean diesel technology, now available on everything from compact backhoes to larger excavators and bulldozers, will help meet the demand for greener construction solutions that reduce emissions and improve air quality for everyone. From farm fields to bustling seaports, the new Tier 4 clean diesel engines and machines not only reduce emissions, but are also more powerful and use less fuel. These combined benefits of fuel savings and low emissions position clean diesel technology as a key strategy for reducing greenhouse gas emissions. Manufacturers who uh, have been uh, charged with meeting the Tier 4 final regulations have tried to find a way to build in productivity gains or other types of features and benefits into their machines to ease the pain of uh, using this technology. It costs money to use this uh, cleaner diesel technology, and so the manufacturers have to find a way to engineer the machines to be more productive and to be more efficient uh, while also meeting the federally mandated EPA uh, diesel requirements. So yes, the charge to innovate these construction machines has been a big part of the entire uh, clean diesel program over the last decade or so. Because diesel engines and equipment play such a significant role in many sectors of the global economy, the benefits of these changes will be felt far and wide. Meeting these emissions challenges required unprecedented investments in research, design, and engineering. And today, we see the results with innovative new technologies for not only the U.S., but also the global marketplace. All of our components in this system are U.S. made. The oxidation catalysts and the diesel particulate filters are manufactured in our Wayne, Pennsylvania facility outside of Philadelphia that since the 70s has made over 400 million catalysts for the automotive and diesel industry. With the addition of the Tier 4 final regulations, we developed a plant specifically to make these SCR catalysts down here in Smithfield, Pennsylvania in 2009. That's just outside of Pittsburgh. So we built that plant specifically to meet the new regulations and build more catalysts for U.S. need. The manufacturing of diesel engines and equipment in the United States contributes $183 billion annually to the national economy. That's equal to as much as the entire utility sector or the information technology sector. Diesel engine and equipment manufacturing provides high paying jobs for one and a quarter million Americans and accounts for over $46 billion in annual exports. One in four diesel engines made in the United States is destined for an overseas market. Meeting the challenges of near zero emissions, reducing fuel consumption, and improving performance ensures that this new generation of clean diesel technology will help power a sustainable future around the world. <music>